Hello, my name is Andy. Today we're doing a persuasive topic speech about, can you guess it? Years is round and not flat. <laughs> um, did you know that the person who first proposed the idea that the earth was round and not flat was Pythagoras, an ancient Greek philosopher. It's pretty smart and it's pretty cool. I thought so, I guess. Um, Basically, the reason I'm doing this is because it's kind of interesting to see how how far people will go to to like prove a point that can't be proven. It's like you see so many flyers and you're like, "Well, how does this work? How does that work?" And then like they just like throw a book at them with like every single science fact possible to prove that point, and they'll be like, "No way, that's not possible." You know what I mean? And then I oh know it's kind of dumb, but Basically, what I'll be using is like, I'll be using physics, astronomy, and some, I'll include some things you could do, like, in your own time, at least you have your own time, because it's kind of sad, um, in your own time, where you can prove that you're just wrong, you know, in case you're a flat earther. But, basically, in physics, gravity likes to pull things together, like, in a ball, like, ball shape, you know? And you're probably like, why is this important? It's important because in the beginning of our solar system, it was mostly just gas, like a lot of gas. Like, well, gas in the sense that it's like, it was like dirt, minerals, you know, a bunch of different like base stuff. And basically there were certain points where it was bulky enough to attract other things and it became a central gravity. And that's how most planets were formed. And basically, you know, some of them were destroyed. It was kind of, a, it was a big mess. Of course, the sun came first, because that's why it's the biggest. <laughs> and then basically, after a certain point, they ran out, they, they basically reached their maximum size. The buffet ended, you know what I mean? And then after that, you know, Earth created its biosphere, its atmosphere, its, you know, life. You know? But that's not important. And basically, the reason gravity is so important to Earth, not only Earth, technically it's important to the very existence of atoms, because they blow up if, you know, gravity was there. And it's kind of the same thing with the planet Earth. There's so much mass that the center part is crazily hot and really pressured. So, like, it's kind of like putting a smoke grenade inside like a bottle it will expand to the point where it will explode unless you know either the plastic is strong enough to hold it or it could stretch or you know it's not plastic and it's just steel but basically it's so much pressure and gravity acts like that bottle it tries to hold it and since earth has become stable enough to you know hold it it doesn't really worry about that as much you know, but it still uses the gravity for mostly that. And gravity is kind of like a thing that it's just there. You know what I mean? It's like that annoying cousin that you don't want, but it's still there. <laughs> um, and then there's astronomy. Astronomy, like, Earth isn't the cool cousin. He's like, you know, he's like the most common cousin you have. He's like, he's everywhere. He's like on the other, he's in the other solar system, you know? It's not like out of the common. We just have a biosphere and we can support life for the most part. You know, and it's what separates us from other planets. And it's, but for most things, like even things that can't support life or like are literally the sun, everything's shaped like a ball for a reason. Because again, gravity likes to shape things like a ball. Because you can evenly like mesh everything and you know, because why make a brick when you can make a circle? It's like way easier to hold. And basically, the only reason we have mountains is because, you know, shifting tectonic plates and stuff like that. It's pretty cool science. Um, basically, we're not, we're not, like, special. And if it was a flat Earth, it'd be impossible because we'd basically be flat and then, like, the gravity would spread out. And basically, we'd just brittle as, like, you know, as a cookie. You'd just be like, God, and it's done. And it doesn't make sense. Also, the bias, the reason it's a circle is because 
it's like an eternal loop. So you could even if if you didn't have the escape velocity, you'd be stuck on Earth forever. And basically, that's what happens to the gas. It doesn't have enough escape velocity to get out, so it just gets stuck with the gravity. And with a flat Earth, since the gravity spread out, there's kind of none of it. So it does. It's basically all the atmosphere just goes out. It has to be man-made or you know extraterrestrial made. Es Extra trust human. Sorry, I'm gonna pronounce that. <laughs> and basically, it doesn't it doesn't fit in logic. Like, can it? If you try to, it'd be like showing a cube in a triangle area. You know, it doesn't make sense. And then there are some ways you can actually test this. So there's this one test where you you could basically wait at a harbor, and a boat will leave. And after a certain point, it'll cross like the line of sight, and then you kind of see it, like sinking, but it's not. It's just like going over the point of sight you can see. There's another one where you see like a certain point, but and you're like you mark out where it is, and then if you climb higher, like on a tree, hypothetically, um, you could basically see it a lot farther. Well, it's not a lot farther for you because you know it's your point of view, and it looks like oh, it's like short but it's a pretty good distance, sometimes even a mile longer. But there's also a limit to that because you can't, because then it basically proved that the Earth is flat. But there's a limit because, you know, the Earth kind of <laughs> turns into the ball. Um, and then there's another one. It's kind of the same thing where you do it at sunset. If you're like as close to be to the ground and then like the sunset ends and you could just like go on like a small hill and then you basically set the sunset again. So like if you were to be a, so a cool date would be like, you start at the bottom of a building, you see the sunset, it's nice and it just slowly rises and like the sunset lasts forever basically. It's kind of cool. And, but this also has limits cause you know, it's not gonna last forever eventually. But you can also, I mean, you could do this on a jet and like fly, but it'd be super expensive and kind of like a one time thing. But basically, This is a really not important topic to me, but it's a very interesting topic because it has like it's a really big mix of a bunch of things like science, math, physics, you know, all this stuff, and it's really cool. But surprisingly, people seem to you know ignore all the facts and be like, "Oh, this book has all the answers." <laughs> Psych, and then you know they're just like, "No way, Jose." And it's kind of strange to see that, and that's kind of like the big deal with the flat earther. So yeah, thank you for watching. I guess this YouTube video. Oh.